Hey guys, this is Tiamat Ruler, and yes, I know you guys have not heard from me in quite a long time. It's been a few months. And what I'm doing right now is giving you a pretty big update of what has been going on. First off, I'm pretty sure, I don't even remember what I've put up on my channel. I'm pretty sure I put up an update letting you know that my capture card... That, oh wait, no I didn't. I let you know that I would be doing a series shortly, and I was not able to. And the reason for that is because my capture card stopped working. It was very, very unfortunate. I put up that update video, and then a couple days later, my capture card start, stopped working. I can get it to work if I force it, like force the uh, thing that plugs into the port, if I push that down, if I push up back on the back of the 3DS, but it's not a position I can hold my hand while I'm playing the game, so I can't record while I'm playing, and so, yeah, it really sucks, and I really can't do anything about it until I get it fixed, and it's been a while. I've contacted the place in Japan, and I really don't want to deal with them because they told me that I would have to, for them to fix it, I would have to mail it to them saying it is worth $10, which means it's only insured worth 10 for $10. And and they told me that's what I have to do. And I'm not going to do that because it's worth way more than $10. And if something happens and I'm shit out of luck, I'm not doing that. Unless they promise me that if something happens, they're going to replace it. But they didn't, they didn't say that. They said that because of price. And I'm not doing that when it's worth more than ten dollars it's not gonna happen i'm sorry guys but so i'm gonna find somebody else around here who can see if they can fix it um and if not then i'll have to figure something out but i've got someone looking at it no they said they can look at it that's pretty much all i all i know so far anyways so that happened that put me in a very very down mood and i wasn't motivated to do anything so that's why you haven't seen anything on my channel for a while and on top of the fact that all through december i was working overtime every single day two hours of overtime every single day that i was at work and the day i had off i had i worked another 10 hour day so i was working five 10 hour days wait no hold on so i was working five 10 hour days every week and then I was working an eight-hour day on um, Saturday. So that means I was working 58 hours every week in December. So I just didn't have time to do anything on in December. And then January, I mean, I was kind of coming off of that. But now I'm in training again, and it's been kind of rough. Especially because if you did not see on Twitter the what, yesterday... This last week, my beginning of last week, my mom was having, oh, I guess it's been a couple weeks. She's been sick and she's been having a fever. She had a fever for three days, over 100 degrees, and it would not go down. It was going down a little bit, but it would not go, drop below 100. So she finally went to the doctor, to the hospital about it, and they found out that her hemoglobin was too low. They knew she wasn't bleeding, which means she was losing blood somewhere. But they knew she wasn't bleeding externally. They knew she was bleeding somewhere, but not externally, so it had to be internal. So they ran all sorts of tests of everything they could think it could be. They found out that she's not bleeding inside of any of her organs, when, which meant she had to be bleeding into her abdominal cavity. Which sucks, because that limited the options as well but they still couldn't figure out what it was now my mom on sunday asked me and my sister to come down to her house because she didn't want to talk about it over the phone we knew that meant it was not good it was bad and but we had no idea what to expect and on sunday when we went down there we found out that at that time the doctors were 90 to 95 percent sure that my mom had colon cancer. And they were so sure of that 
that they weren't even waiting for the tests on it to come back. They had already scheduled the surgery for yesterday. And so that was really, really tough on me. As you can probably imagine, it doesn't matter that it doesn't matter what kind of cancer it is. You hear cancer for a loved one, it's going to be you're, you're going to not going to take it easily. If you've never experienced that situation, trust me, you're not going to take something like that easily. It's not something that's easy to take, no matter what kind of cancer it is, whether it has a high success rate or not. It's hard to hear, and I was stressed. I was emotional, and. So that was Sunday. Tuesday, my mom found out, got the test results back, and it was a for sure thing. I didn't hear about this until yesterday, but Tuesday she knew for sure it was colon cancer. So yesterday, she went in at 8 o'clock in the morning and had surgery. Well, the surgery started at 8 o'clock in the morning. And, I mean, of course, I didn't go to work. I talked to my work about it. They told me, don't even worry about it. Don't come to work. All that, which is super exciting. I was worried that my job would tell me, ah, we don't care, you gotta come to work anyway. And I would, would have been shit out of luck. I probably wouldn't even have come, though, to be honest. I wouldn't care. But I ended up going to the hospital, sitting there waiting for her to have surgery. And they did get the tumor out. What they have to do is they have to cut out, they have to take out a piece of the large intestine. They just cut it here. They like, let's say you have a piece of your large intestine here. Ah, uh, sorry, here. They cut it here. They cut it like right here or something. And then they have to reattach the two ends that they cut off from after they cut it out. But at this point, they did get that done. And she's out of surgery and she's fine. When we left the hospital, she was talking like normal. She was just kind of silly because goofy, loopy because of the meds that she was on, which is normal after surgery, obviously. But we still don't know the full thing yet, the full everything is, there's stages of, chem of uh, cancer. And we know it wasn't stage one. We know it's past stage one because it has to have eaten through, it has to have gotten through the lining of the intestine so that it could have bled into the abdominal cavity. But we know it's not stage four, because it wasn't spread to all the other organs. They know that for sure. So that means it's stage two or stage three. Now, if it's stage three, that means it's spread to the lymph nodes. If it's spread to the lymph nodes, that means my mom needs chemotherapy. If it hasn't, that means she doesn't. So I'm still kind of stressed a little bit because we still don't know the answer to that yet, but hopefully I'll find out soon. And I'll keep you guys updated if you wanna know. Just please keep her in my in your thoughts for me because cancer is always, I mean, cancer can come back. Even if you get it in remission and it recedes, it can come back. Even if you cut it out, it can come back. So I do ask you guys to keep her in your thoughts for me. Even you don't, you mean none of you know her, but it's something that's important to me. I mean, obviously she's my mom. I care about her a lot. Like, She's probably the most important person to me right now. Uh, and always has been. Probably always will be. So, um, but, yeah. So this last week has been super stressful for me. But yesterday, it was a lot of relief. Knowing that she made it through that. And it's out of her. They caught it before it spread to anywhere else. And the only reason they caught that is because she caught the flu and ended up, because of the flu, having fevers. And so she went in and they found out about it. That's the only reason they found out about it. It seems thank odd to be thankful about colon cancer. Or not colon cancer. It seems odd to be thankful about the flu. But, I mean, it's what let us know about the colon cancer. So, anyway, after all that... Yeah, that's what's been going on. Just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on and why I have been so inactive, kind of on a hiatus. Um, I will be back once I figure out what I want to do until my capture card gets fixed. 
I just don't know what I want to do. Maybe I'll hold a poll to figure out what I want to do. I'm thinking about maybe doing Gen 5 at some point. Um, I mean, I've done Gen 3, I've done Gen 4, and I mean, I haven't even played Gen 5 yet, and that was the next one I was thinking about playing because I haven't played it yet. So maybe Black and White of some sort, some version of it. Maybe Black and White 2, but I'm thinking about playing Black and White and then Black and White 2. I mean, that's, how, that's the order you sh technically supposed to play them in. So, and I haven't played them yet. I haven't really watched too much of them. I, and if I have, I haven't really paid too much to attention to the story because I haven't played it myself. I kind of just watch them play. Um, but anyways, so that's what's been going on. And to let you guys know, there is a big stream I... have going to be doing soon it may be tonight it may be tomorrow night i'm hoping to do it tonight because i got it today if you're fans of the tcg just keep an eye out for it it's going to be kind of my my coming back stream it's going to be big for me anyways um so keep an eye out for that it's going to be exciting for me hopefully for you if you want to come watch it even if you're not fans of the tcg just come out to support me maybe um but yeah that is what has been going on with me, and I just kind of wanted to let you guys know. I'm sorry this video is so long, but I felt like you guys deserved an explanation for me not just not being here and not putting out the videos I told you I would. And I promise I will get those videos out once I get my capture card fixed. I don't care that Gen 6 has been played to, to hell. Like, I'm sure tons of channels have already played them. I already promised you I would do these series. I haven't told you all what all of them are yet, but I've already promised you that I would do these series, and I will as soon as I get my capture card fixed. And I wouldn't put my friend's uh, graphics to waste. He has already made me graphics. I'm not going to put those to waste. I will do them eventually. Just got to get the capture card fixed first. That comes first before actually playing it, because I can't record it if I don't. But from now on, from... I mean... I'll figure out something I can do. Maybe if I do showdown vid videos here and there. I've got some saved from a while back that I did. Some kind of fun ones um, that maybe I'll show you. Kind of voice over and show you. But um, other than that, I'm thinking Gen 5. Give me some ideas. Um, maybe some, play, some version, like some ways to play the game that you might want to see me do. Um, I've done kind of, I haven't done a normal playthrough yet, but I don't really, I don't know if I'm going to. I'll have to figure it out. But, like I said, give me ideas, and I'll roll off that if I get any. If not, I'll figure something out anyways. But this has been long enough. I hope you understand why I have been kind of inactive. Um, I felt like you guys all deserved, 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 deserved an explanation for that, and so that's what this is for. And just, again... Keep an eye out for my stream, whenever it is. It's going to be sometime tonight or maybe tomorrow Tomorrow night. Again, I'm hoping it to be tonight. So, But I'll have to check with people because I want people in there with me too because it's going to be my first stream for quite a while. So, yeah. Again, if you want to keep posted on... If you want me to keep you posted on what I find out about my mom later on, just let me know, ask me on Twitter or something like that, and as soon as I find out, I'll let you know. Um, I do like, I do appreciate people asking about it and showing support for her. Uh, all the people who already have, I really appreciate that. It's a big deal for me. So, um, again, thank you guys so much for being there and hopefully understanding why I've been gone. And I look forward to making more videos for you guys and coming back. So, yeah. Peace, guys. I will see you as soon as I get that stream up, maybe tonight or tomorrow, whenever it comes up. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye.